Hello, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my colouring tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be um, playing around with baby oil and zest solution to do blending with the pencils that I generally use when I do my projects. And I'm going to see how they work with those pencils. So it's almost like a test um, video this time, just to see how things work and hopefully it'll help other people who will want to try baby oil and zest. I decided to use blues in this example of testing these the baby oil and zest. I use, blue, I use blue quite a lot and generally I would do more of a gradient but I've gone with a dark colour and a light colour to see what happens to the transition and I also use yellow and blue a lot for highlights because you get a nice green tone with those two and that looks quite nice at times for the highlights not as harsh as yellow on its own so I'm going to use baby oil first I will just use a little bit, take off most of it and I will gently do a little bit of uh, blending with the baby oil first for each of the pencils. Now there is three layers of each colour down for each of these pencils because that's what I would normally do. I do three layers and then I'll do a light blend with a blender pencil. So I want to see how baby oil and zest works with just three layers. I do the baby oil first. Right, for that first one, um, I've done the baby oil. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about each of these pencils. The first two are budget pencils. The WH Smith pencils, they don't have a name on them or numbers. Uh, I tend to use them for backgrounds and bigger areas to put a base layer on. Faber-Castell Classics are the same. Uh, there's more colours in that uh, set that I've got, but the same thing. The pigment, there's not a lot of pigment in those pencils either and I tend to use them as a base layer. The Marco Refine and the Castellar Premium are what I would call student grade pencils. There's more pigment in the Castellar than these in the Marco Refine but both of those blend really well normally. And the Marco Renoir and the Prismacolor Premium are the artist grade. The Marco Renoir is the only oil base I have and they have quite a bit of a lot of pigment and Prismacolor are the best pigment pencils I've got. Now when I look at those um, I can see right away there's a few problems even though there's only three layers. The Prismacolor and the works the best I think because there's more pigment down only with three layers. The Marco Renoir aren't too bad either however they are an oil based pencil and I've tried to use baby oil with them before and it gets a bit clotty uh, so it's a bit patchy that one. The Castle Art Premium has worked quite well and the Marco Refine aren't too bad because of more pigment down. The budget pencils uh, they just look awful really and um, I don't think this three layers is enough to be able to use baby oil on those. So now I'm going to use baby oil on the section with the pale, palish blue and the yellow and see what happens with that. Again, I'll just put a little bit on, take the most of it off so it's not too wet. I'll start with the budget pencils first. 
I all, I'm going to work, as with the others, from the light to the dark. Now I've just done that gently as best I can. Uh, it is difficult to control the oil that goes on the uh, cotton bud. Um, and again, it's the same with the, you know, the, the budget pencils. There's not enough pigment down really. And it's, it just looks patchy. Marco Refine and the Castle Art have worked a bit better. It hasn't lost the green, which is quite nice and the Renoir and the Prismacolor I think has worked the best and again it hasn't lost too much of the green transition. So that was the um, baby oil and I'm going to do the zest now and see what happens with the zest. Smells quite nice, the zest. Now, again, I'm going to be working from the light towards the dark. A uh, similar uh, situation I feel for the budget pencils, not enough pigment down there really for this to work very well. And when you get, when I got to the student grade, works a bit better. Um, I've noticed in a little bit that I'm losing a little bit of that transition between the two colours. Um, the Renoir work really well with the zest. Much better, I think, than the baby oil and the Prismacolor work well with it as well because both of those have a lot more pigment. So three layers for the better pencils and more pigment, I can get away with that. Probably need a little bit more for the Marco Refine and the Castle, maybe another layer, but the budget pencils, there's no way. Um, with them really. They just don't have the pigment. So I'm going to try again with the zest on the transition between yellow and blue. I'll try the uh, budget pencils first. Just light. think it's pretty much the same um, with the uh, zest for these. I'm losing a little bit of the transition with the zest but it does work better when it's a more pigmented pencil. It doesn't work much at all with the budget pencils. So the next test for me now is to see if I can put any more layers down after I've used these solutions. I'm going to start with the budget pencils. Uh, the first one I'm going to try and put down again for another layer is the um, WH Smith pencils. Like I said, the 
They're not too bad actually, they're hardcore, but they're really good for big areas, um, which is why I got them to save my other pencils. Now I always do a light pressure, so I'm going to try a light pressure, use a light blue first and see if there's anything more I can get down. Uh, try the darker, the overlapping section. Um, I'm not quite sure if much is going down there, to be honest. No, I don't think there's much <laughs> uh, pencil going down there after that baby oil. I mean, it's a little bit of a difference, but not much. Uh, now I'm going to try um, with the with these WHS pencils for the um, transition, the blue and the yellow, and see what happens. Um, not really. Um, for me, I don't think they're working very well getting uh, another layer down. So um, it could be the pencils or it could be the baby oil is uh, not allowing any more to go down on the paper. Now the paper I'm using here has a slight texture. It's slightly creamy colour but it's slight texture. So it's very similar texture to what is in the colouring books that I use. So now I'm going to see what happens with the budget pencils and the zest I put down and see if that will allow me to put any more pencil down for these WHS pencils. Just using light pressure. Now, yes, I would say that worked better. Uh, the zest is allowing me to put another layer down. I might be, you know, I might be able to get more than one layer down extra on there. So yes, the zest is allowing me to do that. So I'm going to try the transition between the blue and the yellow now with the zest that I put down earlier. And I'm just using light pressure. Yeah, I can get another layer down with that. And um, so even though the very cheap pencils, you know, the budget pencils, I can still get some more layers down using the zest. So even though it hasn't really smoothed out the uh, budget uh, pencil, it's still I can still get um, more layers down if I wanted to try that. So I'm going to see what happens with the Faber Castell now. Doing the same again. I'll try and put another layer down. The baby oil first. Let's try the two blues. And there we go. Try the two blues. Baby oil. Slightly better. I could get a little bit more down on that one. 
with the baby oil. Uh, see how it does with this transition. Not too bad. I mean, it's okay. Um, not brilliant really um, and this is something I'd noticed before when I was using baby oil that uh, once I'd used it I struggled to get anything else down but um, let's try the uh, zest the one the one I use Faber Castell and the zest let's see what happens here that was easy to get another layer down and also remember these are budget pencils and they don't have a lot of pigment so that hasn't been too bad that and um, try this one I'm gonna add the blue and the yellow Yes, again, um, the blue and the yellow with the zest uh, underneath has worked better. So for the budget grade pencils, the baby oil, not so good. Struggled to get anything else down and they didn't um, smooth out very well anyway. And But with the zest, I could get more layers down. So even though the zest didn't work very well because there's not a lot of pigment with only three layers originally, I could get more layers down. So that's handy that, you know, that would be flexible, I could work with that. Now I'm going to try um, put another layer down for the student grey pencils, doing the Marco Refine first, the baby oil test see how this goes again just light layers I felt I could get a little bit more uh, down for that one, so possibly that could be to do with the fact that the student grade pencils have got more pigment in. So now I'm going to try the baby oil test with the blue and the yellow. So yes, I mean, even though that was baby oil, it is allowing me to put a little bit more down. It's um, not as easy as if it wasn't down, but it's it's okay. So let's try the zest layer, and the zest was working a lot better with the other pencils. And yes, I feel that has worked better than the baby oil for that section, uh, for the zest. These pencils have more pigment in than the budget pencils, so it's working better than those. So, so far, the zest, when you use as a blender, is allowing um, more pigment to go down quite easily. I'll try with the yellow and the blue section the zest I'm 
yeah that's that's nice that so the zest is working quite nice so far and i would say the zest is the best one for if you want to put more layers down but we'll continue on see what the castle art do and these are my other uh, student grade pencil i think they've got more pigment in than the marco so let's see what, how it goes with the baby oil first Again, I mean, I've managed, but it was difficult. It's almost like uh, the pencils are sliding off the paper. And that could be the oil that's doing that. So normally I can get a bit more of down for the these pencils. So I'll try the, um, the blue and the yellow. And again, it felt that way. It felt like how it would go down, but it was struggling. And yeah, it, it's not um, it's not brilliant, really. That. So I'll try the uh, blues for the castle art with the zest section. Yeah, that was easier um, and it looks a bit deeper. I'm noticing the uh, after I've used the zest, it looks deeper. Well, that's kind of nice. So I'll try the, the blues and the yellow. I used zest earlier. Yeah, I feel that using the um, zest with the student grade pencils, it does have a better effect. It allows me to put more layers down. Um, that's just one more layer. I'm sure I could get you know, another two or three down for the zest blending. The baby oil, I'm, I managed a little bit with uh, the student grade pencils, but it was a struggle. It's almost like it's sliding off uh, the paper. So next I'll do the artist grey pencils. The first one I'm going to try is the Marco Renoir. Uh, this is the only oil based pencil I've got. So I'll see how this works with another layer. We'll do the baby oil first with the two blues. And again, I'm only using light pressure. wasn't too bad um, better than the uh, student grade now I will try the blue and the yellow And that wasn't too bad as well. I mean, not as easy as it could have been, but I managed to get another layer down, which was quite good, considering it was the baby oil that hasn't been working very well that way. So I'm going to try the uh, zest ones now, the way I use zest to blend. See how it goes, two, the two blues first.
much easier to put that layer down and again I'm seeing it brighter uh, which is, than the oil blending layer so let's see how it goes with the blue and the yellow the Marco Renoir And that was easier as well. Um, so for the Marco Renoir, the zest is working better than the baby oil, much better to be honest. And when I come to do another layer, it's um, easier and brighter. And I've noticed that uh, throughout so far, even with the budget pencils, the zest is giving me a, a brighter effect. Now let's try the last pencils I used today and that was the Prisma colour which is the best grade I've got a pencil the highest grade artist pencil I've got try the two blues first on the section where I use baby oil I've managed to get another layer down there. Now, one of the things I'm noticing with the baby oil, the lighter the colour, the harder it is. So the less pigment. So, of course, this is a light blue I'm using with the Prisma and it won't have as much pigment in, but it is a lighter colour. It's supposed to be light. So with the baby oil, the lighter colours are really struggling with that. So I'm now going to do the blue and the yellow. In the baby oil section, the Prisma colour. And the same again, the yellow really struggled with that. The blue wasn't quite so bad, but it, it was a struggle to get that down on top of the baby oil. I found it was resistant. So I'm going to try the zest layer now for the Prismacolor. Two blues first. Sorry, that should have been blue. Sorry about that. Yeah, but at least I know I can put the yellow down on top of it. That works a lot better. It's taken the lighter colour as well better. And the blue and the yellow with the zest. yeah that works better as well so um trying out those tests there uh four layer uh, three layers to start off with which what i would normally do before i did a light layer with a blender pencil is not quite enough um for using these solutions i think i would need more probably four layers at least so I, I hope that little test has been as helpful to viewers as it has been for me. And it's nice to work those kind of things out when you're doing your projects prior to trying the projects because you make a little bit of a mess when you try to do it otherwise or in the middle of something. So 
Baby oil, I think, is still a useful tool for doing blending. Um, I would use it with my student grade and my artist grade, but more of a final blend rather than a earlier blend. The zest, I feel I could use for an earlier blend and a final blend for the student and the artist grade pencils, but nothing really works much for the budget grade pencils. So I hope uh, this tutorial has been useful and I will come back with a, another tutorial in the future doing a colouring project. So bye for now and see you in the near future.